Hey guys, what's going on? Shane here from That Student Life Australia. This particular video is going to be the first entry into a new series I'm going to begin. And that's called Studying Smarter, Not Harder. Now this first episode is going to be about maths. So I'm going to give you my best tips on how you can study smarter and reduce the effort you have to put in for the reward on test day. Let's see how it goes. So my first tip for studying smarter, not harder for maths, is to get a game plan first of all. So uh, for me, about four or five weeks before my test, I figure out what's actually going to be in the test that I'm going to be doing in four or five weeks. And from there, I'll probably make a list of all the topics and therefore get my mind geared up to what's actually, you know, I'm going to have to face. From there, I then, um, you know, ask myself, where am I going to get the quest practice questions that I'll need to be doing for this test? So for me, it's usually the past papers which are on our school's student drive and uh, just regular um, questions from the homework booklets and textbooks which my teacher gives me. So with that game plan, I'm ready to go. Okay, another way to study smarter is to just start studying earlier. When you start studying earlier, there's less stress put on you, especially at the start of you know, your studying sessions. And then when it comes to crunch time, because you just you just feel more prepared. And also, if you start studying earlier, you can pretty much just chill out a little bit and you know maybe not take it as intense as you would if you were cramming with six days left. My most probably significant uh, you know tip that I've got for you today is to spend most of your maths study time actually doing questions and getting experience with the topics that you need to get good at. I mean, it's all good and well to memorise your formulas. You can't do much without that. But I would definitely suggest that at least 75% of your study for maths be just getting as many examples done and you know getting as many questions under your belt for each topic. So yeah, do as many questions for each topic as you can. It's essential. Alright, my next tip is to keep all your notes in one place. Uh, for example, um, I have just this book here, 128 pages, it's almost filled. And uh, since the start of year 11, so uh, junior year for Americans, um, yeah, so, you know, my last two years of schooling, I'm just going to put every single maths formula I will need in this book. So anytime I have to do revision or go back and study something I haven't done for a while, it's all there. So, for example, here's some stuff for linear functions. Yeah, one book keeps it all, you know, nice and tidy one solution, it's easy to find. Alright, so the next thing you're going to want to do when you're studying for a maths exam in order to maximise the mark you can get is to figure out, by looking at the past papers mostly, what is 100% going to be asked in the test. So for instance, there's a certain type of question um, that I did uh, in the maths exam I did two days ago. They changed the numbers in the question, but it's literally the same question each year. So I made sure that I could definitely do that type of question because then it was three free marks. Easy as, right? So yeah, learn the things that are definitely going to be in there. Also, you're going to want to work on your weak points more than your strong points. I mean, for me, uh, the test I just did the other day in extension maths, uh, it had like, say, polynomials and circle geometry in it. Circle geometry, I'm much stronger at than polynomials. Therefore, I put most of my effort into polynomials. Alright, so my final tip for studying smarter, not harder in maths is to use your class time as best you can. Whether it's going hard into the homework you've got given for the night ahead, or doing some quick revision or a past paper, or definitely clarifying any info with your teacher and, you know, conferring with friends. So, using that time to the best of your ability is a good idea because I mean, what else can you do in maths other than either do maths or check Facebook? It's not as if you can go for a run or get, you know, that gym session in. There's not really else, nothing else you can, you know, really do. So definitely make the most of it. Put in the work and, you know, it takes the load off at home. So it's less stress. So that concludes my tips for this video in terms of maths. Now, obviously, maths is hard to substitute hard work for. It's really, you know... Input equals output. If you put the time in and you put the time in correctly using the tips I've given you, you should see results. And if you don't, don't be disheartened. Just you know, look back at the, you know, the preparation you did and tweak it a little bit because it takes trial and error. 
So good luck with all your maths exams. All right, guys, on a side note, we reached 50 subscribers. That Student Life Australia, Nick and I, who would have ever thought? We certainly didn't. We're definitely happy, you know, to have you 50 guys on board, and we'd love to, you know, expand even more and keep making videos. We definitely enjoy this, and it's better than homework, and it gives us an excuse not to do it sometimes. All right, so stay with us. Keep watching our videos. Please like, comment, subscribe for more from That Student Life Australia.